Today I'm going to uh, replace this uh, water heater. This is an electric um, water heater. So I'm going to replace it. This has been installed for over 10, 15 years. So uh, it's about time to replace this unit uh, with a, um, a newer one. So let's stay tuned and see how I did it. Okay, I have uh, removed um, the uh, foam cover of the uh, hose right here. So um, this one is the cold uh, line. So go into a um, incoming line and the cold uh, uh, water line. And this one is the hot one that goes into uh, the house so this is the one that go to the house and and I can feel that this this uh, this little bit warm right here so I can tell this is the uh, hot uh, water line and this is the cold uh, water line so um, I just want to make sure I have everything uh, um, videotape so I know uh, which one's cold and which one's hot and this is the electrical connection to the heater to the water heater and uh, I will remove this and then disconnect all the wire but before I'm doing that I have removed this um, the connection here uh, out of this uh, electrical box to make sure there's no electrical coming uh, to the uh, water heater before I um, disassemble the wire. Okay, um, I'm going to remove this this wire from here. Okay. I'm going to test it to see if we have any electrical going on, any current going on. Looks like we are clear. And make sure I take a good picture of the wiring. I know which one is which. Okay, so before you disconnect the wires, I want to make sure you take a picture of the color. So this one black go to black. Uh, the white one goes to the red. And make sure you take a picture of this. So I'm going to take a picture of this one so I got all the wires capture and I'm now ready to disconnect it okay now I'm ready to disconnect the wires all I have to do just twist the wire connector And then same thing on the other one. Make sure I keep all the thing in a safe place so I don't lose it. I don't need to remove the ground wire because it is already connected to this piece right here. So I'm not going to remove it since I'm not going to replace this part anyway. So I'm going to keep the ground wire connected as it is. There you go. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this cold of water line and then do on the hot water line on the next video, so stay tuned. And I will show you how I remove it. 
Okay, this is the before and after. I disconnect the wires. So I want to take another picture of it. So I know exactly what I need to do when I have the new one installed. In order to lose or disconnect this hose out of the water heater, I will have to disconnect this hose from here so that when I turn this hose, right here this hose does not twist it like that. So that's what I'm going to do on the next video. And same thing on the hot water hose. So I'm going to disconnect from here first. Before I disconnect from this part right here. Or from this end over here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now, I'm disconnecting the cold water hose off the water pipe. Okay, prior to disconnecting this water hose. We are going to need a bucket to collect on the leaking water. Same thing on this side of horses. Um, we are going to need uh, to put a um, bucket or container uh, to collect uh, or drain uh, the water. So uh, we will have to wait until all the water uh, are drained before we proceeding to uh, the next uh, steps. So let's stay tuned and see how we did it on the next uh, video. It's time to remove the water hoses out of the water heater. Proceed to the next hose and follow the same instruction to remove the hose. time to drain uh, the water out of the water heater so you put a hose on it and then you have to lose this uh, uh, screw counterclockwise like this and then uh, water will stop uh, flowing down this uh, hose so now we just need to wait until it is finished and then we will put the, um, the water heater on so we just got all the uh, holes and wires, everything disconnected. Hi, e. And this is the cold water, and that is the hot water. So, looks like uh, we will need to make adjustment or cut this thing uh, off, a little bit off, because we have a, a taller water heater. The new one is a little bit taller than this one, so um, we're gonna need to cut some pipe off the wall to make it fit for the new water heater. Okay, uh, here is the new one. So we bought this uh, new one. So I am about to put the new uh, hose on the new one. So first, you're gonna try to uh, install the hose on the new one before you move it back to uh, where you need to connect on the water uh, to it. So I'm trying to, so uh, let's just watch how I did it. Um, it's a little bit tough when you try to uh, install the new hose into the new thread of the uh, new water uh, heater. So let's see how I did it.
Now it's time to measure uh, the pipe to see where I need to cut it off to install on uh, um, the pipe and, and connect it to the uh, water heater. So uh, it takes a little bit of uh, challenge uh, uh, doing something like this because it in a tight spot and it's very high on the uh, ceiling where I need to uh, cut off uh, the uh, pipe off to uh, uh, make the adjustment or install on the new pipe uh, to the water heater. Now it's time to uh, connect uh, the water hose uh, back into the um, uh, incoming pipe, water pipe. And here is how you uh, will tight on the uh, water hose into the water pipe. And make sure you don't over tight it, uh, just to make sure, just securely tight it, but don't over tight it. And same thing on the other side uh, of the hose and pipe. Uh, just uh, uh, tight uh, as much as you can, but don't over tight. Okay, uh, once you finish uh, connecting uh, the water hoses uh, to the um, uh, pipe, then uh, it's time to uh, um, reconnect uh, the cables, uh, the electrical cables or wires back into uh, the water heater. Uh, just uh, like I said before, um, if, if you are not sure, be sure to uh, check your uh, pictures that you took prior to uh, disassemble the cables. Like I said before, so um, use that pictures as reference. So um, that's how I did it uh, prior to connecting uh, the cables uh, back uh, together. Okay, uh, why are uh, you connecting the uh, wires or cables together? You can twist it first and then use a uh, um, uh, long nose or uh, pliers to uh, twist it, the cable together, to tie the cable together. Okay, uh, to uh, double secure uh, the connection uh, from a, a losing connection, you can use an electrical tape uh, to tape around uh, the connector, or uh, you can leave it on as is. Uh, but for my uh, recommendation, I want to make sure everything stay connected, so I use a uh, electrical tape tape uh, to tape around the uh, connection. So that's how I did it on mine. But it's up to you if you want to live as is, as is, that's fine.
and once you uh, uh, finish uh, connecting all the wires or cables then it's time to uh, put the uh, plate uh, the cover plate um, back on Okay, now we have uh, replaced, finished replacing the uh, water heater. So now I just turn on the water and I want to make sure we have enough pressure. And then now it's starting to fill some water. Let's see how water goes. There we go. Now we have waters. Wow, well, finally. We have waters. Finally, we have water now. Now it's the hot water running. So what I'm going to do? I'm gonna turn on the um, electricity, and then I mix, and then we'll try to see if uh, we have some hot water after this. Okay. Now here is the hot water running, but it's not hot yet because I have not turned on the electrical for the heater. Okay, now it's time to turn on the electricity. Okay, now it's time to uh, put uh, the breaker back onto the uh, breaker box. So like I said uh, once before that, um, always uh, take this uh, breaker out of the breaker box before you perform any work. And for double safety, I always uh, turn off uh, the main breaker in the house before I perform any electrical work also so that you don't accidentally uh, um, touch on some um, hot wires while you're working on the electrical. So now I'm checking to see if I have any electrical running. So let's see how thing goes when I turn on the uh, electrical at the uh, main breaker. Okay, now let's turn on the uh, breaker at uh, the house, the main breaker at the house. So I believe it is this one right here. So let's just turn it on. And we got power. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the installation has been completed. And, um, you got all the water hose uh, connected back on. Water hose. Uh, we're checking, there's no leak. Uh, we have connected all the electrical wires. And we have tested on the water and it's starting to warm up. So uh, give a little bit of time to uh, for the heater to heat up the water inside the um, heater. The water heater so um we have all the wire connected back on everything looks good so job well done and we put all the foam back on to prevent from water become frozen or anything like that so everything look good job well done Okay, thank you.